Hey guys and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this really cool desk organizer. And to make this I would recommend using cardstock paper so that you get a really sturdy model. Uh, but you can really go ahead and use any kind of paper you'd like. Normally I use 6 inch by 6 inch square sheets, however those models turned out too small when I used uh, really small square sheets of paper. So I would recommend using larger size sheets for these so that you can actually put stuff in there. And obviously when you use bigger paper, uh, you're going to end up with a larger model, which is good because then you get more space to fit things into each of the sections. So on that note, let's get started and I will show you how to make this. Alright, so for this model you're going to need six square sheets of paper. I'm using an 8.5 by 8.5 square sheet. And you will also need these little strips of paper. Uh, for this, the size that I'm using, you will require something that's roughly around 4.25 by 2.5 inches and we're still going to need to cut this down to size once we make our unit and determine what this surface size is because we're basically going to be inserting this in here to just add a bit of contrast to the units and to make them stand out a bit more and we're also going to need to use a scissor and some glue if you don't like using scissors for your origami models then you can actually skip that step and you basically don't have to worry about this strip because if you don't use the scissors, you just um, ignore the colored part on the inside. So it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. And on that note, let's get started and I will show you how to make this. We're going to go ahead and start with our first square sheet. So the first thing you want to do is you want to fold it so that the side edge aligns with the other side. So you're folding in half sideways, just like that. Once you get it properly aligned, Go ahead, crease it into place. Open it up. Now we're going to fold it so that the side edge comes and aligns with the center crease. And you're pretty much going to do this for both sides. So let's do this for the right side first. Fold it to the center. Once you have it properly aligned, give it a nice crease. And then do it for this side as well. Fold this edge to the center. Once it's aligned, crease it into place. Unfold it. Turn it sideways and do the same. So fold it so that the right edge comes and aligns with the left edge. So you're folding it in half. When it's aligned, crease it in. Unfold it. And then fold the edges to the center. Crease in this side, fold this side to the center, crease it into place. You should then end up with the shape over here once you go ahead and unfold it. Now we're going to go to each of the corners of the square and we're pretty much going to fold it the same way. So we're going to fold it so that this tip here comes and aligns with the point where these two creases intersect. So you're pretty much folding it up like this. So once you have it aligned, go ahead, crease it into place. Do the same thing with this side here. Fold it so that this tip comes and meets the intersecting point of these two creases. Once it's aligned, crease it into place. Now go ahead and turn the model so that the top side is facing you and do the same thing on both of these corners. So let's do the right side first. Take this tip, fold it to that point there, crease it in. And finally do the same thing here. Fold this tip to that point there, crease it into place. Now we're going to fold it so that this right flap here folds up against this first crease. So fold it in. And as you do, this edge is going to align with the center. 
piece it into place. Do the same thing with the left side, fold it down, just like that. You should now end up with this shape here. Now we're going to flip it over to the other side and turn it. Now we're going to fold it so that it folds up against these creases that we've already made here. So fold the right side down like this. Fold the left side up so it folds up against this crease. You're going to end up with this shape here. Now before we finish up the model, let's go ahead and take our other piece of paper, the little unit that we're going to use to decorate the front of the model. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just slide it in there. And as you can see, I've cut it a little bit too big, so I'm going to go ahead and cut off a bit off the top so that it fits in there. And you can just sort of approximate this, it doesn't have to look perfect because the top and bottom is going to be covered by the red part so just shave off a little there and see if it fits. Uh, it's still a little bit tight so I'm going to cut it just a little bit more. Alright, that should be good. There we go, it fits nice and snug. Now we're going to flip it over. And you just want to go ahead and cut it along this edge. So wherever you have this little strip sticking out, just go ahead and just cut that out. Once you've done that, you should now be good to go. Once again, place it down like this. What we're going to do now is we're going to apply a bit of glue to the inside here and a little bit on the surface and the side here. And we're pretty much going to be inserting this flap into this opening right here. And as you do so, you're going to have the center crease on the back. You'll want to push that out. So it just makes it easier for you to insert everything in. So we're pretty much just going to be putting it in like that and sliding it all the way in. So before we do that, let's go ahead and apply a bit of glue so that it stays in place. And apply a bit to the front as well. There you go. And then go ahead, take the left side, slide it into the openings on the right. Push it all the way in. and then just wait for the glue to dry. As this dries, you can go ahead and make your other five units. And uh, once you've done that, I can show you how to put it together. Okay, so once you're ready, go ahead, grab your glue, take two of your units. Let's take our first one here, and we're just going to go ahead and apply some glue on the surface. And you can probably guess how it's assembled. It's fairly simple. You just apply the glue, align two of your units together, and just press it together until it stays stuck together. And just leave it to dry. You should be good to go. And we're going to go ahead and attach our pieces all the way around until we get a completed unit. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and attach this in time lapse and I'll be right back.
Once you've gone ahead and glued all the pieces together, you can then go ahead and use your organizer by putting whatever you'd like in there. And that's really all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.